Uh, welcome to the third part which is on uh, Microsoft Academic. You type on your Google search engine Microsoft Academic. It will take you to this page and the first hit will be academic.microsoft.com. You click on that link. It will take you to this page. Uh, this is Microsoft Academic. Previous version it was Microsoft Academic Search but this is the newer version. I think in the last three four years they have upgraded it. Uh, this is also another bibliographic uh, database which is a very powerful uh, tool for a researcher. Uh, here you can search uh, any topic author similar to Google Scholar uh, search engine. Uh, since I'm new, I suppose I'm new, uh, I'll just click on sign up because I'm a new, I'm a new person, I'm a new researcher. Uh, you know, I have not learned anything prior to that and what they would ask me to sign up if uh, once I click on it They'll give me many, many of the social media linked here, but I'll be using my Gmail uh, Account so I'll click on the red uh, Google Plus uh, Tab and it will take me to this page. So I'll have to select my email ID. So Chanlang Thma is my Demo remember this is my demo Gmail only just for the purpose of this so what it would ask me to do is I'll send my name here, send there, full name and ORCID ID. I can give my ORCID, I cannot give my ORCID, it's up to me uh, or I can add it later. I can just save the tab and then uh, they will process all the information uh, for me here. So almost done but they asked me for at least three entities before they can personalize my uh, page so what i would do is i would cho choose a type and search here so which means basically means that i will have to search for a topic since uh, my topic is on privacy so let's try privacy and it is still searching and um, privacy by design privacy protection i'm clicking privacy protection okay i think i have to it is shown on your uh, right side if you see uh i mean and on, on on the right side you could see here privacy protection i'll i'll search again uh, seeking behavior of information information seeking behavior it doesn't show anything information needs yes it is there so still I cannot click and then uh, my specialization is on open source software open source software So there it is. I have to add at least three entities or three topic of my specialization. Then I can click the button here, finish. Click on the button finished. Uh, it will give me this account. There are numbers uh, about two crores of publication. Okay, and authors. And then there are about seven lakhs uh, topic and then conferences about so put 9,000 journals, uh, huge resources in here. Uh, so this is my profile now and this is my reading list this is my citation list since i don't have any citation i uh, will not be having anything at all so so now uh on this uh if you go into the right side corner on your profile there click there and it will show you view your profile you can view your profile i'm just i'll be showing you a new tab and edit your profile and then you can manage oh let me go back so see i don't have any publication i don't have any citation yet so uh let me go back to my profile uh, let me manage i can follow some uh expert also in this uh this thing uh in this profile in this so So no author found you have not made any claim so what I would do is I will just suppose I am just 
for demonstration purposes i'm typing as ready suppose i'm this person so there are this person has about suppose you are that person i am that person so i'll just instead i'll write my name since i'm showing hmm. so see there is one uh, publication which is reflected here so i can just click here click on next and then i can save this claiming one out of one paper so i can claim this paper that this paper is actually mine and clicked on save button so that is how uh, you uh, claim paper from microsoft account and uh, let me view my profile so in <clears throat> you basically what you can see here option publication from follows uh, it will show all the publication from the people which you are actually following uh, so since I follow open source, so it gives me all the paper on information need open source software So related to my expertise area of specialization. It gives me the title in my front page here in my profile main page uh, But I can also search for other paper which I have written or by author or by name of a journal Or by name of a article I can click here on the search bug. I can search for those I can claim them so that is how I if for example i just clicked on here this is one paper related on social uh, on open source software on the my area of specialization now if this is my paper i would just click here claim i can claim because i have already logged in here you see this is my account i can just claim it if you just search for your name without log logging in without signing in to microsoft academic you cannot claim that paper but you have to sign in first register sign in and then search for your name if your name is already there paper is already indexed by microsoft academic then only you can claim those paper which belongs to you so here you can follow new citations uh you know new citations uh, with new publication which cites you or citation from the one which you have followed so these are some of the features of uh, microsoft uh, academic it's very interesting and then do in order to identify my id i'll just click suppose this is my paper i just click on this article now on the url here you will see uh after just after paper slash stroke and there is this and this number giving 10 digit number this is your id microsoft academic id so from the url in between your url you'll find this link here you just to know this you just click on the pay, one of the paper which is published by you and you will find that any paper will have that so that is how you uh, get your academic id